I made a video where I tried the Brad Mondo layering method and by the end of it, I really didn't feel like the layers were as intense as I wanted them to be, as short as I wanted them to be. And so here we are with another video where I'm going to try a different method of layering my hair. Okay, a little disclaimer before you watch this video. There are some portions where I'm breathing um, kind of hard. I am super pregnant right now, so I apologize. I did not realize until I was editing these videos how insanely like deep I am breathing in some of them. So you have been pre-warned. Okay, so I tried the Brad Mondo one. I am gonna go ahead and try the one that I was originally thinking about doing. So I'm gonna section off my hair. I sectioned my hair out into six different areas, as you can see. But I then realized that I want to take them out of the bands. So I did not need to use bands at all. I just needed to section. If you go straight out, like I just did on this strand, you can trim it up right along there. If you want more layers, you direct up more, okay? Like if you want shorter layers, okay? And then you go up and see that bottom piece fell out. So you cut along this finger. You can see that this part was shorter, this part's longer. But when you do it this way, you need to make sure that the angle you're pulling your hair at is the same for each section or else you're gonna be all collywonkus. If you go straight out to the side, you're basically having the same length taken off from what I saw as uh, whenever you do like the Brad Mondo method of cutting layers. It's the same length that would be taken off. Bottom here fell out. Now we're ready. That is a much shorter layer. Now we're gonna do the rest. Same length. Angle it up like the last one. It's a big section, but most of it's gonna fall down once we reach the outer edge. Big. Eh, we're gonna go a little bit more. Cause I'm basically seeing the bottom. Yeah. Oh yeah, I am loving those drastic layers. I really am. Okay, final thoughts. I wanted more drastic layers and so I did go in and do more drastic layers and you can definitely see them a little further up. Okay. My feathering obviously is not really a thing. <laughs> um, so if you did more of like a fanned effect and you didn't do it like so like straight across, You'd have less blunt ends if that's what you're looking for. But what I will say is whenever I did the Brad Mondo method, it took a lot less skill than whenever I was just like pulling them up, pulling them over and cutting along the hand kind of thing. So I would definitely recommend trying the Brad Mondo method. I know my hair is a very, very solid color, doesn't have a lot of natural highlights in it, and so it can be kind of hard to see <laughs> the layers and things like that, but hopefully, whenever I shook my hair, you could kind of see them a little bit more. Um, like this, that's a shorter layer than this, you know? So it definitely is very layered, and I think that will give it a lot of body and fun to match my fun bangs.
they've grown out a bit. As you can see, I'm actually due to um, kind of touch up my bangs a bit at this point. And I did brush through them. So the curls are kind of out right now. But I really do like how they turned out. I do feel like my hair has a lot more body now and kind of matches my bangs a little bit more. It's not pulling on the weight of the outside hair as much and making it very like straight down after the bangs. It kind of fits it a lot better most of the time. And so I am very happy with having a little bit more layers in there without having to take off a bunch of the length of my hair. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye. Mwah.